folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the Vengeance Rogue 25V Toy Hauler. This is a great travel trailer toy hauler. It has a split bath, helping to differentiate, giving you some extra space between your bedroom and then the main area right back here. If you're looking to haul some bigger toys, this may be an excellent option as you have a massive garage here in your travel trailer. For some quick uh, measurements, from the back wall to your countertops right here is about six foot three inches. Again, from the back all the way up to the front is about 15 foot three inches. And if you have to take up that 15 foot space from the countertops, this wall is right around six foot. If you're right here in the back, from wall to wall is a little over eight foot. So you again have plenty of space in here. Eight tie downs, you can see they come all the way up uh, to this front section here. So that way you can have a, a variety of different toys and items that you can put in here. Now, the great thing about toy haulers is not only does it give you all that space, but it also gives you excellent sleep space. And that is due to your uh, power bed system right here in the back. This Happy Jack system has a queen bed right up top, as well as dual rollover sofas. Now I have one in each orientation to show you. You can have them either way, depending on if you need height or width. If you need the height right here, you can have them both in this orientation, drop them both down along the walls. However, if you need the width, you can put them both up like this one right here is, giving you that maximum width right here in the back. Again, both of these do roll over, so when they are all the way down, you have a complete bed down here. Otherwise, you have sofas on both sides. There's a table up front that you can put right back here so you have a space to eat and hang out as well. This back ramp does have a party deck. I'll show you that when we go outside. Uh, you also have the tent screen right here with the zipper in the center. So that way, you know, if you want to easily get on the party deck and just unzip it, head right back out. Same thing to come right back in. Uh, moving up a little ways here, beautiful kitchen in here. You'll see that you have seamless countertops. This one does have a sink top cover as well as a cooktop cover here. So you're able to get maximum prep space and they give you a pull out faucet. So even though it's a toy hauler, they're not skimping out on some of the amenities here in the kitchen. When we take off that sink top cover, you'll see kind of like the very residential looking uh, single stainless steel bowl there. Because it's a seamless countertop, they are able to undermount that as well. And then the cooktop right over to this side, as I mentioned, is three burners. This folds up and back, doubles as a backsplash, open up that three burner, the front one there being high output. In lieu of a standard oven, they went with a convection microwave oven. You can see that right there. So it's where you know normally your oven would be. So that is kind of a two for one there. And then over to the side, you have a little bit of storage right here underneath. Uh, this is access. I've ac we've actually taken this panel off, but you can see it gives you access to some of your drains and stuff right back there. And then over to this side here, you have a couple of pull-out drawers giving you a spot to store your flatware. Uh, it is worth noting you have a dual USB port right in here. You also have one on this side and one on the opposite wall. So anyone that's sitting in the sofas or sleeping back here, there's plenty of places to plug in your electronics. Plus your standard plug-in right here if you need to plug in a coffee maker or something like that. And then you will also see you have your, uh, your panel right there, your tank monitoring panel, water pump, and water heater are located there too. If you take a look up top on the kitchen, you'll see storage going all the way across. Good size storage right there. Stainless steel hood with a light and a fan. And then you move, uh, moving over one step further, you get into the Norcold fridge freezer combo. Plenty of space on that unit. This unit does run off both propane electric, also has automatic switchover. You can see the weight of this unit right here, just under 6,500 pounds. If you want a TV, this is where the mount is. They already give you the mount right there. And then up top are the corresponding connections. We take a quick, a quick look across the way here. So as I mentioned, USB port right up here, you'll see the electrical outlet right down below. One thing worth noting, there are windows back here. I know it's kind of dark on video, but these uh, obviously pop off right there is your window. So, you know, if you want the privacy, you can leave them up. If you want, you know, during the day, if you want to take them off, you can. They're nice and easy to snap on there. Plus, you can take them off and wash them if you have to. You also have this window right here, which opens up your big wood blinds right there. LED light here underneath. And then storage all across the top. I'll show you that as well. You know, it's a good spot to, again, you know, if you need a spot to store like helmets, stuff like that. Or, you know, if you just need extra pantry space, you can obviously use it for that as well. 
ducted AC uh, all the way throughout here as well as ducted heat. You'll also see right down below there you have your um, uh, electrical outlet there too. So again, another place to plug things in. You'll also see the diamond plating you know, to help protect against some of the wheel wear, uh, you know, the, if you put something in here so your wheels aren't rubbing straight against the wall. I wish it would have came up a little bit higher, but either way, you know, it still should still do the job because this part protrudes out of the wall a decent ways. You'll also see that you have your vents, one up here, another one located down the other corner, which is very standard in toy haulers. And then the controls for your lights as well as your power awning, and then that happy jack bed are all located right here. Taking a look across the way, we'll open this up. You'll see storage right in there. And then right here is your uh, multimedia center. This unit, uh, it does control the speakers in here as well as outside. It's also Bluetooth capable. Underneath that, you will notice your, um, your fuse panel there. So that way, you know, if you need to change any fuses, look at the breaker box, that's where that'll be. Right on the other side is a propane leak detector as well as your battery disconnect. And then right up here is your thermostat. As we step into the bathroom, you'll see right over to the side here is the Neo Angle shower. You have doors in the roller track, so that way when you open the doors up, all the water goes right down into the shower pan, unlike a swing door, which oftentimes will drip on the floor. Because it's a toy hauler, you clearly have plenty of headspace in here. Skylights let in some light there, and then you have your hand wand as well as some shelves right there in the back. Over to the side is your mirrored medicine cabinet, very large medicine cabinet here, plenty of storage built into that. You also have a good sized countertop with a very large bathroom sink, and then you have the electrical outlet there too. Underneath, you'll also see a little bit of additional storage. Then as we move across the way, right over here is the toilet. Obviously, you have plenty of space here as well. Kind of an open cubby hole behind that, and then some storage right up above. Now behind me is the bedroom. We'll sneak into there a second. So I open that up, you can step on in. You'll see the uh, bed right here in the center. This one does have storage underneath. I'll lift that up for you so you can take a look. So you have uh, access to, uh, again, some of the storage. You can see that table under there that I had mentioned. And then on both sides, you have wardrobe space. So if you need a spot to hang your clothes, that is where it'll be. Storage across the top right here. One thing worth mentioning, if you take a look, on the side, you'll have uh, your USB port, electrical outlet, and then right down here is the controller for your gen set. So if you need to start up the generator, you can do it right here from the bed, which makes a lot of sense. You know, if it's at night and it just, it's just too hot, you need to kick the AC on, kick the generator on, you're good to go, assuming, of course, you don't have shore power. On the other side of the bed, again, you also have the dual USB port there and your electrical outlet, emergency exit. And right up top, you will notice you have TV connections as well as a backer that is built into the wall. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Vengeance 25V. Right up front here, folks, the power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Also, in the event that it fails, there is a manual override so you're not stuck out at the campsite. You'll see right here you have two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. And then behind that, you have rails here for your battery. Coming up the front is diamond plating, helping protect that front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And then the front end itself has a smooth aluminum rather than the ribbed, which not only gives it a nicer look, but is also easier to clean. And seeing as how this is where the majority of your bugs will get splattered, anything that makes it easier to clean is always a good thing. Coming around to the side, you'll notice this one has solar prep as well. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels. They'll have a controller built in, plug it in right there, and it'll trickle charge your battery. Underneath that here, we have the front storage compartment. You'll see that it does have that same access to what we saw underneath the bed, and also your table is right here. Uh, that is the table that is built to go back between the two sofas, the rollover sofas in the back. But if you want, you can certainly pull that out, set it up right here outside. Uh, you know, you don't want to leave it out when it rains, but it is perfect for, you know, just having an extra table. If you take a look right underneath in front of that front step, you will see propane quick connect right there. So that way, if you want to cook outside, you have that easy access, just take a grill, plug it in right there. It'll feed off your two 20 pound bottles up front. Large power awning, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. It does cover both doors. And the other thing you will notice is that you don't have any vents on this side. So if you want to set up camp, you know, basically on this side of the stairs right there, that is all great usable camp space. And if it is, you know, raining a little bit, 
uh, again, you have that coverage when entering or exiting the RV. This door right here is that secondary entrance into the bedroom. And then this one, of course, will be your main entrance into the main living area. Because it's a secondary entrance, they have the foldable steps with the smaller grab handle. Your main entrance, however, gets the more ride step above steps. Extremely solid. I weigh over 200 pounds. I can jump up and down on these. The coach doesn't move. Uh, and also, because they are aluminum steps, they're not going to rust out on you either. It's a great step system. Larger grab handle here as well to give you that extra control as well as grip tape on those treads in case it's wet. You can adjust the height of this too based upon your campsite. You have pins on each side. Pull that out. These legs are telescoping so they can move in and out. You'll see two speakers right here. Again, those are controlled by that multimedia center. Uh, but as I mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable. You also see your TV mount located right here. There's a TV inside. So that way you can put your TV out here if you want, hook it up right here, electrical outlets as well as your cable outlet, and then you'll see your video uh, outlet there too. So you have a couple different options uh, with what you want to do with that TV. Dropping down below, take a look at the wheels. You have a beautiful aluminum alloy wheels there, which not only look great now, but continue to do so because aluminum doesn't rust on you. And then making our way back, this is our fuel dispensing system. So there's your pump station. If you want to fill that up, you'll fill up your tank right here. Uh, this tank does share both the generator as well as the fuel pump. Both of them are fed from that tank. And then right back here, this is your uh, fuel fill station. So uh, as far as the nozzle, that'll be located right there. Nice and easy to get to. So if you, you know, need to fill up any uh, toys, whether it's quad, motorcycles, side-by-side, -side, whatever else you're bringing, that will allow you to do it. Right back here is that party deck. I did set it up real quick in advance. Honestly, folks, it takes all of about 45 seconds. It is super, super easy. You have these pins right here. Uh, you know, if you need to drive your toys up, obviously you just remove it like this, pull that pin out. That way it lets go of the cable. That will allow your ramp door to go all the way down. Otherwise, if you want the deck up, put these in. This can support 3,000 pounds. So don't think the cables aren't strong. They certainly are. Uh, you'll see the party deck just like so. Basically what you do is it folds up inside. You literally just push it out. It has wheels right on it. And then these kind of move over. They lock into place on those uh, uh, on the sides. They're super simple. You have little toe kicks you can unlatch them with. There is a door right here. Uh, so you know that way if you want to kind of open it up, you can uh, exit right there if you so choose. Uh, to my knowledge, this one does not come with steps, but if you want to build something or just hop down, it's easy enough to do. Coming around to the off door side here, so you'll see this is that secondary vent that I had talked about, so you can vent all the fumes out. Right up front is your 30 amp detachable power cord, that's where you'll plug that in. Your termination is located right down below. You will see that they, both the uh, gray and black tank valves are located right there. Uh, another thing, uh, I, it's back here, I should have showed you this real quick. Because this one doesn't have your standard bumper, you take a look right here, there is a storage space for your sewer hose right there. So, you know, don't think your sewer hose has to ride around up front with everything, just because it doesn't have a bumper, they did give you a dedicated spot there. Your docking station for all of your water hookups uh, and everything will be located there. And lastly, if we open this up, this one is prepped for generator. So if you want the generator, this is where it would go. As I showed you inside, I showed you where that gen set is. And as I mentioned, it does share the gas tank with your fuel pump. And that wraps it up, folks. Again, this is the 2019 Vengeance Rogue 25V. If you're interested in this toy hauler and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.